In 43, in the bad weather of the Aleutians, ships began mysteriously to navigate with accuracy in the worst storms. In the Pacific, planes on ships made on-the-nose rendezvous under what were formerly considered impossible conditions. And simultaneously in the hazardous North Atlantic, amazing feats of bad weather navigation were performed. A convoy made a perfect landfall following a three-day storm, during which none of the usual observations could be taken. Something new in navigation was at work. What was it? It was secret, top secret. One of the war's most precious. Those on the inside, those that knew, used a strange new word to describe it. That word was Loran. Long Range Navigation. By the end of 1945, more than 3,000 naval ships were using Loran. 30,000 planes winging toward life and death objectives found their way with the help of Loran. So vital did Loran become to operations in the Pacific that Loran equipment was often lugged ashore under fire. A chain of Loran stations were set up, lacing the seas with a network of radio lines of position. Here's what's behind her. This Loran station, manned by trained personnel, is one of a worldwide chain. These stations provide long-range navigation signals up to 750 miles by day and 1,400 miles by night. So precise is the Loran timer that a pocket watch of the same accuracy would run five to ten years without losing or gaining a single second. These same Loran stations serve 300 mile an hour airliners on their day and night flights over the oceans of the world. Loran stations are operating along both coasts of North America, along the Great Circle routes of the North Atlantic and Pacific. Accurate, efficient, reliable, working day and night.